Welcome back to our channel, folks. If you're new to our channel, I'm Brad. I'm Deb. And today what we're gonna do, or today what Mrs. Piney Grove is gonna do is we're gonna give an update on this house that is to the right of her. Um, we started this house, I think site work about July of 2021. And I think we started actually doing, um, digging out footers and the foundation in the August time frame. So now it's March, we're pretty close to the end. So this is kind of like a three quarters tour. And then once we're done with the flooring and the rest of it, we'll do like a final tour before my folks move in. So if you don't know what we're all about here, Deb and I bought uh, 20 acres about four years ago, and we've been doing a lot of work in those four years to get this property livable for us to eventually move here and live full time on what we call Piney Grove Homestead. This house here is actually for my folks who live up in the cold Northeast. They wanna come down to sunny Florida and live out the rest of their days. So that's why this house is being built on the property first to get them down here first. But uh, I am gonna be the cameraman largely today. So I'm gonna turn it over to Deb. What you got, babe? Well, we, um, we did, if you haven't seen our first video on the house, go back and check that out. It shows the, uh, we've got some fast forward showing of the house actually going up. We did a quick tour of the inside at that time. It was just, we had the stud framing inside, but that's all that we had. So we're excited to show you the progress that we've made up to this point. So let's go ahead and uh, get behind the camera and walk around and show you what we got. All right, I'm gonna grab the camera and Deb's gonna talk. I'm gonna talk. All right, folks, here we go. So here's mom and pop's house. Looks kind of the same as it did last time, but the final coat of paint is on the exterior. The windows are all framed in. You can see Brad's awesome grading job that he did to give it a nice slope versus a drop off that we had when the house was first initially built. Um, it, we are waiting on shutters to go in the front, but those are on order and should be pretty soon. The door's installed, the light fixtures are installed. So it's, it's looking pretty good. So let's, let's go inside and see what it looks like inside. Brad's fancy schmancy steps for now. Come on into mom and pop's house. So here's the living room. We walk in, we're in the living room. As you can see, there is a lot of natural light, um, which pop and mom really wanted. It's an open concept. Again, from the, from the first video, if you remember. <laughs> a open concept, living room, kitchen, dining room. And when you, um, when you first walk in, again, this was just framed out in the first video, but this is the big coat closet, storage closet that mom and pop have that they, was important to them. But it has a lot, I mean, it's a, it's a lot, not a lot of storage in here, folks. This is, this is, this is big. So we're, we're excited. I could put a whole bunch of stuff in this closet myself. So if we swing around this way, you see the kitchen. We have cabinets. 
We don't have appliances except for the, uh, the mounted microwave is obviously in, but the refrigerator, the stove, and then the dishwasher will go there. They wanted a, uh, a little bar type sink to go in their little island here, which, which is a, a nifty little addition. So the septic is installed. The electrical is in. The HVAC is in. The only thing that we're waiting on um, is the water from the well to be tied into the house. So that's the final um, infrastructure piece, for lack of a better term, that we need in the house, but it, it's, it's ready to go. So we have the regular sink, and again, all the plumbing is in and ready. Just all we need to do is run the water from the well. So we've got the regular sink, we've got the bar sink. So showed this pantry in the first video of the house and it was just framed in. But now it has shelving and it's uh, pretty much done. So they'll be able to scroll away a lot of stuff in there. It's a good use of space in the corner. I like that. So the microwave installed, vents to the roof for odors, convection microwave, so that's, that's nice. That's you know, obviously the only appliance that we have in here so far. This is, this is mom and pop's view. So from their kitchen, they can see the pole barn. And if we walk into the dining area, they can see the pastures and the pole barn. Lots of good light, good use of space. And then if Brad will spin around slowly, because Brad likes to spin. This house is 1,600 square feet, so the bulk of the house space is in the middle, which is where they'll spend most of their time, right? Kitchen, dining room, living room. Comes over here, their view from the dining room as well, looks out into their backyard, and if you've seen our prior videos of um, Brad cleaning this out, it was a, quite a task. Left them plenty of trees to provide shade. So the mudroom slash laundry room, Again, lighting, 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 lighting. Lots, lots of natural light in this house. So they can come in from their carport, kick off their shoes, throw clothes in the washer um, without ever having to go in the main part of the house. So that's convenient. Let's come back out here. Again, in the living room area, we had the, the double storage closet there. And then they also have another storage closet here as well. Lots of storage in the um, in this area that's convenient for them. And then also we have the HVAC system. So good use of space in this floor design. We we're happy with the um, with the design itself and how everything seems to tuck away without taking up a lot of space. So if we come this way, it's a two bedroom, two bathroom house. This is the spare bedroom, small bedroom, but lots of light. And, and this bedroom as well has a great view, has a view of the pastures and the pole barn. So this window has a great view of the mega shed and the septic system and the porta potty, which that, that soon will go away. But it also has, um, you can see where their driveway will be. They'll drive in this way, they'll park, and then they'll come in through the mudroom. So again, natural light. Natural light was a really big, important feature in this house, and, and that's been achieved with these windows and the light-colored paint. This is, this is primer. It needs one more coat of paint, as do all the doors and trim, but you can, you can get a feel for how much light the house actually has. Well, let's keep going. So you can't have a master bed. I mean, excuse me. You can't have a spare bedroom without a bathroom. I'm going to move Brad Tuck in here and see the little side bathroom. So the sink and the counter and the cabinets are in. Potty is in and the bathtub. And you can see that there's a lot of construction um, dirt still here. It hasn't had its cleaning. And again, it's primed, but it's not painted. So that shall come within the next couple weeks, I assume. But looking good, looking good. We'll come back out here, just, a, I mean, the small hallway. Back into the open concept living room, dining room, stepping over trim. And then right off of here is the master bedroom. If I've said it once, I've said it a lot. Lighting, 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 lighting. So 
Three windows, again, um, a nice space, but not massive, but a lot of light and big windows. And the beautiful view of the pastures and the pole barn. And down here, we're excited about this window because there's a little pathway to the perimeter of the property, and we think they're gonna be able to see critters come and go through that pathway. Can't have a master bedroom without a master bathroom. So we walk down here. This is a hallway that leads to the bathroom, but the hallway, again, you know, not a huge space, but lots of storage. So they have a his and hers walk-in closets, and this one shares the hot water heater, but lots of, lots of storage space in this house. And last but not least, the master bathroom. It's got cabinetry and cabinets. It needs the um, mirror, medicine cabinet, but, and flooring, of course, and final paint, but it, it's, it's looking good. They opted not to have a bathtub, since there's a bathtub in the other bathroom. This has a stand-up shower and, and plenty of space. It also has the potty tucked away, too. I like a tucked away potty. So going back through, turning off lights, we're excited that it has power. Again, bathroom, bedroom, open floor design, power, septic, let's go look out back. This Big sliding glass door provides a lot of light into the dining room and the living room. Exterior fixtures are up. Like I said, the house is painted. We were waiting on the shutters. Brad's grating, but it looks good. We're, we're, we're happy. We're excited for them to get out here and enjoy it. And they've not, they've not seen it. They've, they've not seen any of this house. All they've seen are the videos that we've sent them or the videos they've watched on YouTube. So it's gonna, the grand reveal is gonna be pretty exciting. And we went in and showed you the mudroom from the inside, but this is the mudroom from the outside. So they'll come in through this way. Their driveway will be behind the mega shed. And then where the posts are protecting the septic system right now, this will be a carport for them, a carport area. So they'll be able to park. It'll be covered, probably end up covering to the mudroom and they'll just come and go predominantly through there. They probably won't even really use the front door. So as Deb mentioned earlier in the video, the way that we get this the progress of this house to my parents is through YouTube. So when you saw the last one on YouTube, if you saw it when it first got published, that's when they saw it. So uh, this one will probably go out tomorrow, which is Sunday, March something, <laughs> or whenever Deb gets around to editing it. it the editing process is not short. So if you're wondering why once in a while, like on the weekend, we post one that says bonus, that's why. So thanks for coming along with us today as Deb gave this tour of my parents' house. We appreciate you guys watching. If you would, click that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share with your friends. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Take care, y'all.